Smart meters have been deployed around the globe during past decades. Since traditional meters do not store any data, today they are using modern technologies to do a lot more than just calculate energy consumption for monthly billing, and they display information on how much energy is being used in real time. Therefore traditional meters are replaced with smart meters for more accuracy, efficiency, features, and security. These smart meters allow an immense amount of fine-grained consumption data to be collected. We are moving slowly into an era where big data is the starting point, not the end. Thus, the value of smart meter data is also getting increased attention. Using them a better understanding of the characteristics of consumers will enable utilities and retailers to implement more effective services. Therefore, the goal of our project is to turn data into information and information into insight. In Sri Lanka, there are about 1,000 smart meters have been installed from Ceylon Electricity Board. Each meter captures the energy consumption within a 15 minutes time period, and these data are collected from each meter daily for our analysis. As the quality of the project depends upon the way of data preprocessing, it was done prior to analysis by identifying and rearranging missing data and bad data. As the majority can be seen as freestanding houses, our analysis was mainly focused according to freestanding houses and non-freestanding houses. Using supervised learning algorithms, the models were trained to identify whether a customer is a freestanding house or not. For that, linear regression, Fisher's method, neural network and support vector machine algorithms were used. According to the results, the support vector machine model gives higher accuracy for the data sets. Clustering is the process of classifying consumers whose energy usage data and characteristics are comparable in same way. With a proper analysis of smart meter data, the freestanding houses were further divided into sub-clusters. This approach was done using self-organizing MAP and DB scan algorithms. According to the results, there can be seen a significant difference in consumption when clustering. Furthermore, cluster results were mapped with the details of appliances and the consumption of the consumers. This consumption difference reveals many socio-economic characteristics of consumers, and using the details about the used appliances, utilities can suggest low wattage appliances to reduce high consumptions as well. This is the platform that was designed to provide the capability of studying the cluster position of a customer within a few seconds. Abnormal customer detection Some customers have abnormal daily load pattern. Those customers can be identified as more deviated outliers from the major clusters. This can be done with both methods SOM and DB scan. Abnormal behavior detection. Some customers have shifted from their previous month's cluster, and some have remained in same cluster. These shifted clusters of a customer can be observed as abnormal behaviors when compared to his own several months. Such a system can help utilities as well as the Society for Energy Management and Decision-Making Processes in a significant way.